Welcome to the Dynamorphia Guide. The first cards I will show you are the theme core card. Dynamorphia has more than 4 trap cards, it has 6, but the other 2's are not good. So you just play these 4 trap cards. And you only have 2 monsters in your deck, so play 3 times Theresia and 3 times Deep Blue. Theresia is your search. You can set the trap from your deck, and Deep Blues only can send to Crave from deck. And both have the effect to revive themselves. Um, if you, for example, if Theresia is destroyed by a card effect of battle, you can banish a trap card from the uh, from the graveyard and special summon Deep Blues from the graveyard. And the same as the same effect has Deep Blues for Theresia. Dynamorphia and Domain is your only fusion card. So it can special summon a uh, fusion from hand, deck or field. In the graveyard it has the effect to take no effect damage. So play this card three times, it's the most important card for your deck. Dynamorphia Sonic is the spell and trap negate, but you have to control a Dynamorphia monster on your field. In the graveyard it has the effect to take no battle damage. The core thing in the stack is to have low life points, because all of your costs of your trap cards is pay half of your life point. And this reason you have very low life points and always have to prepare for effect damage or battle damage. So these trap cards has the effect in the graveyard to take no damage. Dynamorphia Reborn is your monster reborn. Uh, you can special summon up to two Dynamorphia monsters from the graveyard, but the level has to be level 8 or lower. So if you special summon two their Theresias or one Theresia and one Diplos, it's fine. You can special summon um, a fusion monster and Diplos because it's over level 8. In the uh, graveyard it has the effect to take no effect damage as well. Dynamorphia Brute is your non-target destroy. You have to destroy one Dynamorphia monster from your field and then you can destroy one card from opponent's field. In the graveyard it has the effect to take no effect damage. More very important trap cards in the stack are Solemn Judgment, Solemn Strike and Skill Drain. These cards help you in two ways. The first way is obvious, these are very good negates and the second one is they cost half of your life points or 1500 life points or 1000 life points. It just lowers your life points because your deck gets stronger if you have low life points. So this is very good. And Skill Drain has another very good um, combination with the one Fusion, fusion Girl. Because she has 4000 uh, attack damage and her effect is to lose equal ATK to your life points. So if you have more than 4000 life points, uh, she just has zero attack. But with Skill Drain on your field, uh, her effects are negated, obvious, and she has 4000 attack. It's very cool. So let's go on with the monsters. You can play one of the left monster. I can pronounce this. Um, it just makes your starter very safe. If you normally summon Theresia, it just can be negated by Effect Veiler or Impermanence or uh, Ash. So if you play this card, you can just drop it and then your monsters, your dinosaurs monsters are unaffected by card effects from your opponent. It's very cool. You also can play Conductor Terreno. It's another boss monster for your deck and you can obvious just special summon him by banish two dinosaurs because all of your monsters are dinosaurs um, but you don't have to play him. Um, if you play him just play two copies. Three copies is also very good but it can't be a dead hand with two conductor terrenos in your hand. So play two. Another very good monster card is Lord of the Heavenly Prison. It protects your trap cards um, and can special summon itself if someone activates a trap or spell card. So you have another boss monster with 3000 attack damage. And if you play the Heavenly Prison with Contacto Terreno, you can make good level 10 XE plays with Juggernaut Liebe. But from today's subject will come later. The two best cards for consistency are Fossil Dig and Pot of Prosperity. Uh, Fossil Dig is uh, very good, you can play two or three copies just to search your Theresia. And Pot of Prosperity is a very high price alternative to make your deck consistent. But I come later with some budget options, they are also very good. In the Dynamorphia deck you can literally play any trap cards you want to play. But I have two recommended trap cards for you. 
The first is Ferret Flames. It allows you to shuffle all monsters from your opponent to the main deck uh, if you have low life points. Um, in this deck it's very common to have lower life points than 1000. It's, I normally have 100 life points, it's very easy to get that low. And the other card is Torrential Dry Boot, because it is first a very good interruption to just destroy all monsters from your opponent, but it syndicates with your Dynamorphia monsters very well. If a Dynamorphia monster is destroyed, for example Teresia, you can just special summon from the graveyard Diplos back, and the same as Diplos. Uh, if a fusion monster from Dynamorphia is destroyed, you just can special summon Teresia or Diplos from your graveyard back. So they always come back if you destroy them, and that's why, and that's why Torrental Tree Boot is very good. But as I said, you can literally play any trap cards. I just show here some options for you. So let's go on with the extra deck. You have two fusion monsters until the new support comes out with another fusion monster. And your first monster is Kendrigina. This is your main boss monster with 4000 attack. But it loses ATK equal to your life points. The other effect of Kendrigina is to banish one Dynamorphia normal trap from your graveyard. And this effect becomes the traps effect. It's very good to special summon like two fusion monsters at the same time. For example, you activate the fusion trap to special summon Kendrigina, then you activate Kendrigina's effect to banish the fusion card and special summon Stealth Begia to your field. The effect of Stealth Begia is, uh, while you are lower than 2000 life points, you don't have to pay life points to activate trap cards or Dynamorphia monster effect. The second effect of Stealth Begia is a quick effect to inflict damage to your opponent equal to the monster's original ATK. It's not a negate, but uh, a very nice burn effect. Both of them have the effect, if they are destroyed by a card effect or a battle, that you can special summon one Dynamorphia monster level 4 or lower from your graveyard. So in my opinion, these are the best extra deck cards you can play. Please play Lagia and Dolka, these are so broken and you play dinosaurs, so please play them. And Zeus is always a very good card if you play Xe monsters. Your Dynamorphia monsters are dark and level 4 monsters, so you can play Raider's Knight with Arc Rebellion. If you play the Tyranno and the Heavenly Prison, please play the Juggernaut Liebe package for just to OTK the opponent. If you play Tyranno, you can play Almirage, because they have a very good combo with them. If you normal summon Diplo, you can send Teresia to your graveyard and then make Diplo into Almirage. And then you have two dinosaurs in the graveyard to special summon the Tyranno and you have the protection of Ibera. Mostly you just play with your two fusion monsters, because of that it's very different what exotic cards you want to play. It's on you what you'd want to play. It's just good to have some options like Abyss Dweller or Tornado Dragon. So keep in mind you play with your fusion monsters, but it's nice to have some options. It's on you. So let's now go on with the budget versions for Prosperity. It's Pot of Extravagance. It's a very good card, but also not very cheap. And if you play Extravagance, please play more than two copies of your Dynamorphia Fusion Monsters. Because if you banish one of these, or all of these, you pretty much lose the game. So just play three copies of them if you play Pot of Extra Legends. You can also play Pot of Desires, but it's a high risk, high reward card. You also have the problem if you banish your fusion trap cards, you pretty much lose the game. So with the new support, it's a very good card in the deck, but for now, I don't recommend it. The best budget version for Prosperity is Pot of Duality. This card has the pretty much same effect as Prosperity, but locks you into normal summon. This doesn't carry you because you just normal summon your Teresia in your turn and set a trap from the deck to your field and then you pass. You only special summon monsters in your opponent's turn so it doesn't care to lock into normal summons. So play Pot of Duality if you don't want to buy for Prosperity. And be aware of these cards. Royal Decree and Red Reboot are very good counterparts to your deck. Royal Decree is a instant lose 
if you don't have Feather Duster or Cosmic Cyclone. So please side deck Cosmic Cyclone and Feather Duster. And you also can play Tornado Dragon in your extra deck to destroy Royal Decree because Royal Decree is pretty much an insta lose for you. Red Reboot is also a very good card against Dynamorphia, but you can counter it with Solemn Judgment or Dynamorphia Sonic. So at the end I have a possible deck profile for you. This is in my opinion the best deck you can make out of this. It's very strong, but it's on you how to play the deck. You can play it in very different ways. Uh, when the new support comes out it changes a lot. Um, but for now this is my deck profile and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.